Jesus said, no man can serve two masters because he will either hate the one and love the other or he will cleave to one while despising the other. Amen. This morning, let me talk to you about money. Money is a good servant, but it is a mean master. You know, I shared with you uh, yesterday how God will richly bless you according to his word, right? Some guy accused me of being a prosperity preacher and damning people to hell. But I didn't learn that as a doctrine, and I don't preach that as such. I got that out of the place of prayer, where God spoke to Adam and told him where he could find the gold, the perfume, and the precious jewels, you know. But let me tell you this, my brothers and sisters. This morning in my meditation, the Lord took me up to Mount Pisgah, where a prophet by the name of Balaam was hired to curse the children of Israel. Yes, and there are prophets for profit, you know, those who will not uh, give you the word of God unless you put some bread in their mouth, the Bible says, or, you know, you always got to sow a seed. Their prophecies is always going to end up with you giving them some money. I'm not talking about that. In fact, when I discussed that, I didn't ask anybody for money, and I still don't. You know, one of my greatest supporters was a homeless man, a drug addict, you know, who God raised up and blessed, you see. So it's not that any of you could say, you know, that you've given me money, that I've asked you for money. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to fulfill my promise to God. You know, he gave me a second chance. Well, more than that. But on this last go around, you know, it was a near death experience. So I'm not on here for, to be famous. I'm not on here for followers or subscribers, although I appreciate those of you who started following and my new subscribers. But listen, I come to tell you what God shows me in my secret place. He said, whatever you hear in secret, that proclaim upon the housetops. And that's what I'm doing. So here's the thing about Balaam. You know, there comes a point in a person's life when he will have to decide whether he's going to serve God or money, because there are only two masters in this world, and Satan is not one of them. He is not listed here as God's counterpart or rival. Money is. And when you love money, there are some evil uh, consequences that will result in your life because of what you will do for it. You know, you will lie for money, you will steal for money, you will even kill for money. You know, that's when you are serving the master called mammon. But I'm not talking to people who are so hard up that they'll kill somebody, rob them, steal from them just to get some money. Not when you know God, you know, who is the source of our supply, you know, and what is material things compared to the eternal God. Man, when you love God, when you serve him with all of your heart, the material things are just tools and just uh, conveniences along the way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is Ken. I'm your partner in prayer and God's prophetic intercessor. And I decree today that every curse be reversed that uh, have been pronounced against you. Every altar that has been raised for your downfall, we command in the name of Jesus that it be uprooted, plucked up, pulled down, and destroyed. And may every curse be reversed and turned into a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. So be it. This is Ken. I'm your part in prayer, man. God's prophetic intercessor. Whether you believe it or not, it is what it is. We'll see you again tomorrow. The Lord say the same. Bye now.